it's tall. And I'm not. We got this? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Austin. I'm from Millard North. Oh! And this poem's called Austin. Dear you, yes, you, I am constantly asked why we hate each other, and I am so sick and tired of thinking about it. I am so sick and tired of thinking about one. I named myself after my rapist. What's the point of something that's supposed to make you feel amazing when it can totally shut you down instead too? I didn't know that you winking at me would drive me to the point of tears, but I still wanted to know you after that. Three, I thought I loved you, but instead I only wanted to be you, your masculinity making me hate myself, and that's when I realized that I was trans. So I named myself after my hatred. Four, I watched Lost because of you, and I hate you for it. <laughs> Five, you helped me come out to all of my friends, and without you, I'd still loathe myself. Six, I still loathe myself. Maybe it's my name. Seven, I like your girlfriend more than I like you. Eight. <laughs> The one time I didn't like you was for about two weeks before it happened, one day before, two, before it happened. Maybe I should have listened to myself. Nine, I asked you to pride prom, and I made it really cute, and then you said no. But I went anyways, and I made out with your girlfriend. <laughs> Ten, thank God you were not at band camp because if you would have been there, I probably wouldn't have made it through, which is funny because last year I couldn't have made it through without you. Next time, skip the feelings and just punch me in the face. 11, your abs make me hate myself. Stop it. 12, you helped me so much, but you were so incredibly toxic to literally everyone you have ever met. 13, you started smoking cigarettes and taking caffeine pills and said that it was going to help you feel better. Scratch that, you said it did. 14, it never did. 15, I designed your first ever tattoo, and I'm not sure if you'll ever get it anymore. Just disregard everything I've ever done for you. If I would have known why you did it, maybe I'd feel whole again. 16, I dated your ex, you know, the one from Pride Prom. It was so nice to finally know someone who knew what I was going through. 17, I'm over you now, and I realized that what I really wanted was your masculinity and not you.